have a test for my writing business course. It's my last official midterm for first semester. So it's going by really fast uh, and it's kind of terrifying. So I'm gonna be spending the next couple hours reviewing this. I basically just wrote out, um, because this is almost like a grammar course, but it's, it's a writing course. So basically what the test is going to involve is getting like this messy paragraph and rewriting it. So there's not much studying I can do, but there's a format that they want all of everything written in. So I just need to make sure I know what those things are so that I, I do those things, you know? Next week is reading week two. So this feels just like the last thing I need to get off my plate and then I'm just counting down to having a week off. I got a good variety of things though to do this week. So I think this will be a good one to take you along with me. That was, that was a bit much. Okay, an informative email. We start with an accurate and descriptive subject. Inform, oh. Hello, mother. Well, hello, doctor. Well, hello. I, I am doing good, mother. I have an hour before I have to leave for this test and I am exhausted, so this is looking good. <laughs> Going to try and get some energy in the form of a green smoothie right now. To be honest, I'm a little concerned about this week's food situation because I'm going home next weekend for a reading week, so like in about five days. Four days? Five days? How do days work? Because of that, I don't want to do like a huge grocery run. I feel like I do need to go get some things. This is very frozen. I should have let it sit out for a little bit. But anyways, eventually I'll have to make my way to the grocery store. Will it be today? Probably not. It's just past five o'clock and I finished writing the midterm. Went okay, she said hopefully. And I technically have a class later tonight, but I am not gonna go to that class <laughs> because I am not feeling it. I also am not prepared for it. It's kind of a discussion-based class that you have to do some work in advance for, but I was so focused on this midterm that nothing of that sort went down. I don't make a habit of it, I think, if you start skipping too many classes, it's just really hard to go back. Um, but it's been a day. I did go grocery shopping though, just to pick up a few things. I still have stuff in my fridge. Uh, I got these berries, they're on sale, strawberries and raspberries. I got some quinoa from the brand Go Go Quinoa. I really like this brand. Got some black beans for maybe some taco nights happening later this week. Uh, hazelnut coffee creamer. Some rolled oats for some more overnight oat action. And then these were the I'm being bad purchases. I got some of these uh, Restaurante Pizza Mozzarella <laughs> thin crust pizzas. These were on sale for $2.99 and whenever they're on sale for $2.99 I allow myself to buy them. Otherwise I can't buy them because I will eat them all the time but they're a good price right now, so it's okay. And I also got pumpkin spice Pillsbury cookies. I feel like these are gonna go away soon, so that's another, another purchase that I tried to justify by saying, hey, limited edition, what if it's not here next time you come to the grocery store, Caitlin? I'm a weak soul. I'm gonna put all this away, and then I think I'm gonna do some work for um, YouTube. Maybe I'll edit a video. I also have an outline to work on for a video, so. Studying at the land of Robarts. I'm not looking forward to it. Me neither, but I have coffee, so it's a little bit better. I have Chipotle chicken wrap. Got back from Robarts and I'm 
we're about to head to the gym. Um, I don't really have anything pressing on my plate. I got an assignment done at Robarts. I prepped for the marking I have to do this week. So I'm pretty free. I don't have any excuse not to go to the gym is basically what I'm saying. I'm gonna do that because getting my blood pumping is good not just for the body but for the mind as well and it's been something I've been lacking on. So I got my gym bag ready to go. Got shoes, got water, headphones. Yeah, that's it. I'm procrastinating at this point so I better, I better head out. <laughs> I've got a little dressing going over here, some olive oil, balsamic vinegar, Dijon mustard, all that fun stuff, garlic powder. Got the quinoa happening over here. Oh my goodness, my bad. And then I'm gonna top it off with a little fried egg action. It's gonna be delish, I'm so excited. Although I really want pizza right now if I'm being completely honest with you. But I just did a workout, so I feel like that would be a shame. ready for the day. I actually have to head out to go do some interviews today for one of my group projects. We're interviewing a professor and a student and then I have two and a half hours of class and then I am free for the day. My outfit for today looks like this. It's very different because it has these ruffles and these sheer sleeves. It's black. There's a lot of detailing that you can't really see on camera but I feel like it's very Halloween-y. Just kind of has that like spooky bat vampire vibe. <laughs> Just got really yellow. It's also raining outside um, which is not ideal because that, that means this isn't gonna last for long. Happy Halloween everyone. How crazy is it that it's the last day of October? I'm also vlogging um, a week in my life this week. It's also Q&A Wednesday so like always leave your questions and I'll answer about five to six of them later on in the day. finding the problem to solve. Solutions actually come pretty easily for the majority of problems. Not for Andrea just left to go write her exam, which to be honest, I can't think of anything quite as terrifying as writing a midterm on Halloween. Literally does not get spookier than that. Just went to shoppers and picked up candy because candy was on sale. I think Andrea might kill me for bringing this much candy into the apartment, but I, I couldn't, like how can you have Halloween without some goodies. We're also ordering in tonight, we're gonna have the A&W Beyond Meat Burgers because Uber Eats is having a buy one get one <laughs> free sale. So, you know, we're just having all the treats today. Brought you um, <laughs> two onions. Oh wow, thank you, thank yeah. you. And some sweet chili sauce <laughs> because I uh, accidentally ordered four of them. Um, also I ordered two onions and they brought me five, so. You're doing well. That was my own error though. Don't know how I spent $14 on sweet chili sauce. I didn't know. Maddie and I are questioning how we're gonna do this guy right now because these instructions are not in English. We're supposed to take this and put the pink one. Uh oh. Pink is the tripod. The pink one is the tripod right now. Okay. Where's the pink go? And this one. All of it? Oh, wow. It's been mixed. It must go into that bag. What? That's oh. oh incredible. Incredible. Right. Masterpieces. You're gonna try one? Yeah. Oh my gosh. No? Uh -uh. Is this what a good angle? Mean? I don't have, huh? Is this a good angle? It's not a bad angle. It's not my favorite. I'm thrown off by the texture of the icing. Yeah. It's weird. I think like the fact that I just had like a Reese's cup. The beautiful Reese's cup mm -hmm. probably isn't helping the fact that it's not good. Uh, it's not comparable to a Reese's cup, you know. Sounds like you guys have a spooky night in store. The only thing spooky about my night is homework. <laughs> Wave to the vlog. Hi vlog. And you're fun. Yeah, the word sounds pretty scary. It is about 10:30 now. I have a lunch date with some friends from school at noon. So before then, I'm gonna get started on marking some assignments for the class I'm TAing. I think what I'm gonna first do is do an initial sort where I just put all the assignments into categories of A, B, C, and there's rarely anything lower than a C. So hopefully I can get that done because I would like to ideally post the marks today, get this off my plate so that I am free for reading week next week. Just finished 
showering as you can probably tell because my hair is soaking. Jay and I went to the gym and then we met up Maddie afterwards and went to David's Tea because they were having some sort of event to launch their holiday stuff. Did I buy a mug? Yes. Everyone who came from 6 to 9 p.m. got a free sample of Fireside Mocha and this smells amazing. I'm excited to try it out. And then I also picked up this baby because they were having uh, for tonight only 25% off one item and look, look at how cute this mug is. Little reindeers on it, little trees. It's the perfect latte mug. There's a little reindeer inside as well. I, I could not walk away with it. Or I, I could not walk away without it. <laughs> Today was a great day though. Didn't get as much work done as I should have, but my little lunch date with Lisa and Jane uh, was so good. You know when you get like this really warm feeling when you meet certain people? I get that feeling whenever I'm around Lisa and Jane. They just are sweethearts and I always walk away from um, talking to them feeling like just happy. It was nice to catch up and everything. I am going to put the camera down now, eat something, watch a movie with Andy, and uh, that that's my Thursday. It is Saturday morning, I am here with the Mandre. We're going on a little shopping trip to Z Mall where I'm going to maybe buy some uh, workout clothes so that I am inspired to get my shit together in the physical activity department. <laughs> Should be exciting, right, Mother? Mm -hmm. Thrilling. My eyeshadow today is also the new Sultry palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I am loving it so far. Looks quite nice. I will admit, one of the colors I put on this morning, Mom, felt, or like it just went on like butter, which is not, not something I usually describe for a, they don't usually describe Can eyeshadows as but No. Are you mocking me? That feels like... <laughs> <laughs> that was a little creepy. <laughs> I said we were going to get workout clothes two seconds ago. Somehow we're here. Here again, knowing this ain't the first time I think back to when we were singing. But literally days ago, I was in Halloween mode. And now I'm picking up Christmas lights. I'm really on the hunt for some sports tops because I only really have one that I'm wearing right now. And it has like an open back situation. And sometimes I don't want to show off my back. I just want to <laughs> work out. So I don't know. I can't believe they have tricks here. <gasps> they have the blueberry. They have blueberry, yes, get it, mother. Yes, that is amazing. Mike and Ike Sunday sweets. What? Wow. I'm not sure how Adults I feel about that. Back. Sour? Oh, wow. I'm back yet again at David's Seed. This is the mug that I got a few days ago. This is actually a really cute sampler of teas because it has some of my favorites in it. Like, sleigh ride and apple cider it's a really good one these are really cool too these are the advent calendars but this one is a herbal and organic tea one so many i think this one i feel like that one would be good for you yeah mother and i have ended up at chapters not surprise this is a common or frequent visit of ours Books were definitely bought. I also have my first gingerbread latte of the season. And I also got this little guy, a snowman cookie. I actually love these sugar cookies that Starbucks puts out. It's it's a problem. I wish I didn't love them as much as I do. <laughs> One of the books I picked up was a Harvard Harvard Business Review's 10 Must Read um, novel on managing yourself. So it has, I think, 10 articles uh, from 
HBR, which I actually read a lot of HBR articles for school, but this one's on the topic of, of course, on managing yourself, and they actually seem really good. And then I also got a book called First We Make the Beast Beautiful by Sarah Wilson. This is a book on um, anxiety. So I was intrigued by this one because it says there are many books about coping with anxiety. This one encourages the myriad souls who dance with the condition to embrace it as a part of who they are. And you know, I think we all go through periods of anxiousness or anxiety and uh, hopefully I can have some good tips to get through any periods that I personally go through. The cover is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Will I be able to put it back in the bag? Who knows? Are you ever gonna be the change?